Thanks, Naveen. Artificial intelligence, a field that many of us don't realize affects our day-to-day -day life. Remember that Jeopardy show where that computer Watson actually outsmarted the contestants? Well, artificial intelligence was behind that. How is it affecting our lives? What is the wave of the future? Well, we talked to Neil Jacobstein at Singularity University about just that. Hi, Neil Jacobstein. Welcome to Andaz. So, Hi. I'm so excited to talk to you today because this topic is actually fascinating. And I think a lot of people out there don't understand what's really going on in the world of artificial intelligence. So why do you think people underestimate the power of AI? Well, one of the reasons is that uh, they often have a notion that AI is in the future. Yeah. It hasn't happened yet. Yeah. But in fact, um, AIs have been with us now for 50 years. It's, uh, the field is over 50 years old. And they have performed a wild variety of different tasks, from playing a very credible game of checkers to beating the world champion in chess in 1997, to recently beating the two world champions in Jeopardy. The film Gigi gave him his signature song, Thank Heaven for Little Girls. Watson. Who is Maurice Chevalier? Correct. But what happens when the machine is significantly smarter than the mind? What's that going to do for the human race? To think about it like we think about a car or a plane. Right. You see a car going by at 100 kilometers per hour, and you don't think, I should run as fast as that car goes. Right. So in what area do you feel that artificial intelligence in the next 10 years is going to create the greatest impact? That we will see it? Probably education because now people are excited about education on the web. Currently, they're broadcasting videos of lessons, and the lessons are not yet interactive. I think they, they will be eventually, and when they're fully interactive, what we'll have will be not just one laptop per child or adult learner, we'll have one tutor per child or adult learner, and it will know the gap between what you need to know and what you do know, and it will know how you like to learn, because it's tracking not everybody in the world, but you. Many of the things that I've talked about are in fact happening now. Uh, you can go to a party with a monocle that is called, it comes out of a project called Google Glass. For example, um, if you are in the United Nations, you could find out not just who that person is and what country they're from, you could find out their background, you could find out what their latest speech said. That's you could kind find of scary. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not so much scary. I think we're better off with high transparency. Thanks, Neil. Well, on a positive note, I actually think it doesn't have to be one or the other. We can collectively co-evolve with those robots and build a stronger future. Well, next, we head over to San Francisco and talk about the future of healthcare and innovation with legendary Vinod Khosla. Let's go check it out. Oh, 